Okay, giant bass bees. This is a hive that I added a queen to a couple weeks ago, and I've been busy and I haven't checked back. So if it's uh, strong, you'll need to pull this entrance reducer and let them open them on up so they can stay cool, ventilate the hive, and so we ain't slowing them down none. We don't want to traffic jam them. We want to build as fast as possible. So one little puff in the door, not even really in it up to it just enough to get a whiff and say hey we're here you don't want to smoke the dickens out of your hive trying to calm your bees down so they don't sting you what you're going to end up doing is running them all up to the top and if you burn their wings and make them mad you take this lid off the whole hive is right there in your face ready to ignite you so you just Barely puff smoke to where it barely goes in the hive just to say, hey, I'm here, guys. Then you crack the lid open. So this one has an inner cover. So, barely crack it. One good puff, and you wait a second. That gives them time to go down, away from you. You don't have to smoke the ever-living heck out of your bees. All it does is stress them out, makes them gorge their honey. You're basically just saying, hey, I need in here. Look out for a minute. And they get used to you. Okay, so I see white wax. That tells me the flow is on. They're building. They're probably expanding. And they probably are queen right and probably need room. So, don't go to your middle brood frame and pull it out and roll your queen. I never do that. I've opened thousands of hives and I still don't do that. You stick your hive tool between your end bar, your side bars. That's where your propolis is going to be. Oh, I'm in the wrong frame. Break it loose there. Break it loose there. Then you can pull it out. Okay, that one ain't propolized. Now, as soon as I get this out, I'll show you all something. Okay, now keep your frame straight against your sidebars so you're not rolling your bees off. By rolling bees, I mean raking them against the other comb. Or this outer box. You don't want to kill your bees. Okay, so they're filling it full of nectar. Guarantee you these bees need room. Okay. Might have a queen on this frame. Where you at, girl? Okay, I don't see her. But it's full of eggs. So, it's completely full of eggs. Except for the whole rim. All the way around. See the honey band? See it capped? That's the honey band. So, she's got very little room to lay. I can done tell. If she had room to lay, she'd have that thing laid up. And the fact she's all the way out where the food frame should be tells me that she don't have room. She's searching for room to lay. Going all through this hive trying to find space to lay. She ended up there. When, uh, normally the way I set my hide up, everybody should learn the order of the brood nest. There's an order. Oh, this is your brood. You're outside. Honey, honey, pollen. If you get pollen in here, you're restricting your queen. You need to add another box. Put them in the freezer or whatever if they're not ready. But you need to get it out of your brood nest. When you put your second box on, you can put it back to the outside. Or the third one ends, what I do. I go honey, honey, pollen. Now, if they're brooding hard all the way across, I'm okay with honey, frame, pollen, frame. Brood, 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 honey, pollen. Everything else in between, brood. That's how I roll. Okay, so 
got a lot of bees up on top. I need to work. So what do I do? Small puff across the frames, telling them to move. Got them to move. They're moving. Okay. What we got? Full of larva, royal jelly. Even the little tiny ones are full of royal jelly. That tells me this hive is well fed. They're feeding their brood. They're getting lots of resources and pollen coming in. These people that tell you you need to take sandpaper to your graft tool and scrape up the tongue so they'll pick up the larva when you graft. Look at this pollen. Um, I ain't saying it can't help, but what I will say is if your hive is healthy and it has the resources to feed properly, there will be so much royal jelly in the cell, you don't need to do that. Now if your hive is uh, slacking and it don't have the resources and the brood's not being fed well, and it's just a little dry larva, instead of being in a big puddle of royal jelly, and yeah, you'll probably need to do that. But your hive should be well fed where you don't need to do that. I mean, that's a problem, really. People don't realize that. Some people teach things. They don't realize there's a problem when they say it. I'm not bashing anybody can make a mistake. Or maybe not really even a mistake. Just something unseen to some people. I think I've been blessed. That's why, part of the reason I do this. I don't think I'm the greatest teacher. I don't claim to be. But I think I was blessed and it'd be selfish of me not to share it. Okay, so we got brood. Okay, so if I was a new beekeeper, what am I looking at? I'm counting. I'm counting brood frames. So we got one. capped on one side okay so this larva will be capped over on day nine so I know that brood is nine days old so that means this stuff is probably at least eight so is the queen gonna be on this frame probably not I mean she's already been here eight nine days ago there's a uh, brood in there she can't lay in that she's probably not gonna be there Man, look at this beautiful white wax. Flow is on. Bees grow so well on the flow. They can fix a lot of problems on the flow. I mean, they can be stagnant. And then the flow hit and take off. Okay, so they're on top of frames. I need to work. I'm not smoking the dickens out of them. I'm not smoking down in the hive. I'm not smoking them because I'm afraid they're going to sting me. I'm moving the bees. That's all I'm doing. Just moving. Make them let you work. It's like animal husbandry. You guys get to build a relationship with each other. Okay, now you see this food around the brood. You see the pollen. The brood's in the center. This is a perfect frame. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. This is a perfect example of a healthy hive frame. Picture perfect. But it's so full of resources, they're out of room. You see all that around the brood? I mean, this thing has got nectar pouring into it. The queen ain't gonna have nowhere to lay. They got lots of cat brood, probably. She probably laid like crazy. They packed it full of food. Now they're out of room. So, what do you do? Well, I can tell instantly by as much food and resources around this brood, the third frame in, that third, this is a problem. Okay, they're out of room. So, instantly, I'm looking for swarm cups or cells. Okay, we're not there. But, you see how they've brought the comb down? They're getting ready. Okay, so now I'm looking for cups. Where are they at? I know they got to be here. There's one. See it? Right where my finger is? This sun is terrible. 
Okay, little girls, you better move. Okay, so there's our cup. Whoa. Right here. I don't know if you can see that. Okay. So right here is a cup. We'll tear it open. For video's sake, I can see in it. There's no egg. So, they're building cups. They're saying, we need room. You better do something like right now or any day or we're going to get in swarm preparation. We're, this is your sign. If, it, if there was an egg in there, now it's a swarm cell. Right now it's just a cup. They're saying, hey, we're out of room, buddy. About to fly off on you. Okay, well, I put my frame in. I'm looking right there for bees. I'm going to smash them. If they're there, I let them walk off. Or I put the frame against them and say, hey, move. And if I got to rock it back a little, back and forth till they move. This thing is really needing another box. They need to be able to move this other bird nest. Look at this. Solid pollen. Packed. This is, I mean, that's about as full of a pollen frame as you're ever going to see on YouTube. I can promise you that. Packed. So what does that do? That's like a queen excluder. She gets to that. There was not one available sale, cell there. She is, uh, I mean, they need room. That'll stop her dead in her tracks. She'll go the other direction. Now, if it had pollen on it and some cells, you might see her searching. Same thing, packed. You see that honey band? If you get that on every frame, look out, swarm. They will swarm due to that. This hive needs space bad. As soon as this video's over, I gotta get a box. And what I'll do is I'll take this big pollen frame and I'll move it up to the second box. Honey, honey, pollen. I'll put it in the third spot. Or at least to the outside. It don't necessarily have to be the third spot. That's where I run mine. Because I like mine at the very edge of the brood nest. But it could be out to the outside. But you don't. This is your brood. This is where your queen. This is your queen's area. You don't put it there. She can't do nothing with it. That's why she don't. That's why you'll stop her. Okay. I got video coming out speaks of this right here see how that's drawn not drawn in the very center what do you think they're doing with that nothing it's stopping the queen now this is different than checkerboarding checkerboarding between two brood frames is doing the same thing and they will draw it <coughs> but this it don't have wax on it so they sit there and picked it off before the flow I put it in storage or whatever now it don't have wax, so they can't draw it. I mean, bees can do amazing stuff in nature. They can build on anything because they're when they swarm, their stomachs are full of honey. Their honey stomachs. Bees have two stomachs: digestive stomach and a honey stomach. When they go to flowers, they may visit, fill up their pollen sacs on their legs, and fill their honey stomach. It's different than their digestive stomach. Okay, so I don't really need to see no more. I can done tell you this thing needs room. Okay, what's wrong with this frame? See how yellow pretty it is? It's a honey frame. I should have never been put in the center of the brood nest. She will not brood in it. It's a honey frame. It's different than a brood frame. A brood frame will store honey in too. A honey frame, they don't brood in it. Very, very unlikely. You see? This hive is jamming. For a single, this, giant, this hive is exploding. The only reason it don't have brood frame, brood frame, brood frame, brood frame is because they got it packed full of resources and there's no room. As soon as I move this up, this queen's going to go crazy. As soon as they move this honey out of the way, see, another one. When they move this 
when they move this honey, it's going to stimulate that queen. She's going to drop about eight frames of brood. Bam. I mean like in a week. So that'll come out of the center. Now, okay, you're a new beekeeper. You don't have drawn comb, but they're out of room. What do you do? Take your pollen frames, take your honey frames. You're going to put them in your second box. Every other frame, so you're going to leave, you're going to leave every other frame in your bottom. You're going to leave this frame, you're going to put a new frame, new foundation. You're going to leave this comb, you're going to put new foundation. You're going to leave this comb, you're going to put new foundation all the way across. Every spot that you put a new foundation, you're taking a frame out of. So where does it go? It goes in the second box. You're going to do the same thing up there. Comb, foundation, comb, foundation, comb, foundation, the whole way. That's going to give you drawn comb when you don't have none. And it's going to give these bees something to do to keep them busy. And they're going to burn up some of this honey if they don't move up. They're going to burn some of that up using it on wax. And they're going to move the honey to stimulate the queen. 